Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about sleep. I'm Dr. Daniel Barone and we're here to talk about sleep. Uh, so I wanted to answer another question from one of my viewers, a great question. He said, what is the link or, or what, is, um, what are some foods, I should say, that ha can help promote sleep? And he asked a specific question about uh, Sleepy Time Tea, which is a, a, you know, definitely a popular product and a, and a good question to go over. So foods to help promote sleep, that's a very um, interesting question. And people are trying to work that out and figure out what exactly is, uh, is gonna promote sleep. The short answer is there really isn't anything great definitive answer out there as of now. Doesn't exist. Now there are some things out there that have these claims to be the superfood for sleep or the superfood for this or the superfood for that. I, I, I don't believe any of those things uh, because there really isn't any medical research to, to back them up. What I would say though, to uh, regarding food and sleep, it's a very, very good point, is that you don't want to go to bed with a very full stomach, okay? Because that can disrupt your sleep. You also don't want to go to bed starving. What I usually recommend people do is if you are very hungry before bedtime, a small snack of maybe a couple crackers, maybe a little bit of peanut butter, something with a little bit of carbohydrates and protein, that can help promote sleep, okay? Um, it puts the body more into uh, what's known as a sedentary or, or a, 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 so we have in, in nature, our body has a sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system, that's kind of the fight or flight response, right? So we're ready to, you know, play a basketball game or ready to um, go for a run or something. The body gets, gets ramped itself up. That's a sympathetic nervous system. The parasympathetic nervous system, that controls things like sleep and digestion. So one of the theories is that if you if you give the body a little bit of, of, um, of protein and carbohydrates, like I said, a little bit of peanut butter and some crackers, that can promote the parasympathetic nervous system. So, uh, you know, you don't want to go crazy with this and have thousands of calories before bed, right? But uh, one or two crackers with some peanut butter can, can do that. Also, the old time remedy of, uh, of warm milk before bed, you know, what our grandmas told us, uh, that can work. Uh, it's certainly not going to hurt. So what I always tell my patients is if something doesn't hurt, but it may help, it's worth a shot. So hopefully those answers, that, those question, that question, uh, there definitely is though, um, people are looking into this, the, the link between the brain, the gut, and the foods we eat and sleep and, and our daytime function. A great book on the on the topic is called uh, the Ultra Mind Solution by um, Dr. Mark Hyman, H uh, Y M E N. Uh, he's a um, he's a he's a doctor who does uh, uh, what they call functional or integrative medicine. So um, you know, it's, it, the book is great. I've read it myself. He's a physician, so trustworthy, and he's not making any outrageous claims. What he's basically doing is is showing the foods that are good that we know of that are good to promote um, healthy healthy body. So uh, you may want to check that out. Um, and really, you know, like I said, there, there, is, there is a lot of research that's been shown that the, the gut itself has as many neurons or as many uh, nervous system cells, brain cells, or more actually than the brain does. So that's kind of interesting, you know, what we eat and, and how, we, um, how we digest our food and all that, very closely tied to how we feel and how and certainly how we sleep. So thank you for asking that question. The other part of your question about sleepy time tea. So I don't promote any particular product, um, but sleepy time tea can be helpful. Uh, what's in it though is, is really interesting. So there's melatonin, there's other herbal preparations and those things for the most part are safe. I actually have another video on melatonin you may wanna check out. So I, I believe in melatonin, it's, it's a, it's something our brain naturally makes, so it's a safe thing. As far as the other ingredients in it, usually they're completely safe to, to, to try. Uh, obviously consult with a physician before you do anything, but for the most part, it's all safe stuff. And uh, if it helps, like I said, it's, it's certainly worth a shot. What I always tell people though, anytime, anytime they, they take anything over the counter is, you know, one, just double check with your doctor, make sure that there's nothing in there that, you know, could uh, interact with anything you're already on. And two, you know, 
are these are these substances are they masking another problem right so for example let's say somebody here is oh melatonin is cool for me to take so they start taking it and yes it helps them to sleep better but in sleeping better they're actually masking the awakening that would have happened otherwise because of their sleep apnea so that's not a good situation right because you want to make sure that you're getting all the the, the potential problems taken care of. But assuming that you're a healthy, otherwise healthy person, and you just need a little bit of help, sure, melatonin is fine, sleepy time tea is fine uh, in most cases. So like I said, just double check with your, uh, with your doctor. Great question, um, thank you for asking that. And for the rest of you folks, please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, I will, I will get to them all. Please like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel and the link to my book is in the description section so uh, talk to you guys soon in the in the in the meantime though sleep well talk to you soon <laughs>